how to create a free travel blog using WordPress. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can create your travel blog using WordPress for free. So let's get into it. First off, we're going to go on WordPress.com and we're just going to click on start your website. And once you do that, you are going to have to create your account. Now you can create your account using your email, enter your username and create a password, or you can just sign up using Apple or Google. I'm going to sign up using my Google account. So once you have signed up using your Google account or whatever account that you're using, even if you're using your email, you're going to change your domain name or add a keyword that is relevant to your website. So let's just say our website is Adventures with Andy. And you can select a domain name from here and they're going to show you different price plans for a different domain name so if you want adventures with andy.me it's going to be free for one year and then you're going to have to pay 25 dollars per year or you can opt for their free wordpress domain which is going to be your site title plus some odd number and then dot wordpress.com let's just add zero zero adventures with andy if i remove one zero i'm going to select this and we're going to click on start with free site. We're not going to opt for any of their free, any of their um, paid plans. And we're going to start creating our site using their free versions. Now, you can opt for one of their templates over here. But I would suggest that you uh, take a look at some other templates that I'm going to show you before you opt for any of theirs. So I'm just going to click on skip for now. And I'm just going to head on over to the WordPress dashboard. Now, over here, you're going to actually start up your work and start setting up your website. Now, first off, you're going to name your site. And you need to be very specific about your site title because it's going to be the biggest indicator of how many people are going to visit because if your title is not appealing if your blog is something that looks very basic and boring no one is going to actually even look at it so adventures with andy i like this name so after that you're going to add a tagline so, and below that you can set your time zone your language your general uh, launching times you can add your footer credits if you have to add any credits manually you can do that as well after that you're just going to click on save settings make sure to save everything as you go you can obviously start setting up your site menu home page and whatnot but first you're going to go into your plugins and in your plugins you are going to search for Astro and the first result is going to be starter templates and you're going to install these now you can install any of the plugins that you want on uh, WordPress and start working on them but you do have to upgrade to a business plan so you have to keep that into consideration I would suggest that you do upgrade to a business version if your blog is something that is permanent or another option that you can actually use is that I'm just going to give you guys a side life hack. But if you want to use plugins and you want to still make it a WordPress website, you can use Pantheon.io and you can get plugins on WordPress using Pantheon.io. But that is going to make your work twice as much. You're going to have to set up your Pantheon account and then your WordPress account. So it's going to make it a bit of a hassle. But if you want to go through with it, go through with it or just opt for one of the WordPress templates. Now, we are going to start designing our WordPress website. What we're going to do is click on edit homepage and you can see we're going to be starting with a blank canvas over here on WordPress. Now, this is what a blank canvas on WordPress looks like. It is pretty decent. It's neat. It's clean. It's nothing special at all, but it gets the job done. But you can switch to a draft as well if you want and you can start looking at templates if you want to i think it's all right if you even start with this i think it's fine and obviously if you're starting out with websites you're going to keep it on the visual editor but if you're someone that is good with website development you're going to go for code editor now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start customizing my website so the thing about wordpress that i like is how simplistic yet customizable it is because i just click on text and i can change it 
while a lot of other websites, you know, you click on text and then you enter the text in the side left or right boxes and then it changes on the website, then you have to save those changes. But uh, WordPress will auto save all of your changes for you and you don't have to worry about leaving something unsaved like this and then if you just click on enter it's going to add a new block you can add some more text over here so if i was just typing over here i pressed enter it's going to add a new block for me and i can add my tagline over here but i don't think i want to add that now if you want to add a new block you just click on the existing block or over here and you can get a entire toolbar where you can replace them customize them add more filters change the color scheme uh, make it a large, you know, fit the image or make it uh, filled out or fitted. You can also center your image or text. So if you want to move your text to a certain position, you can do that as well. After that, you have your alignment options. So you can align your image like so or align your entire section. You also have your option to move your uh, little block down. Or up if you want just click on it and click on these arrows and you can move them wherever you like you can even make it a bit skinnier just move it up like so after that if you click on this plus icon you can add different kinds of blocks so if we wanted to add a text column we could do it like so and this is going to give us a empty column where we can add paragraphs images headings gallery images lists coats or anything that we want now below on your homepage, you're gonna have your latest blog or the featured blog over here and make sure it is one of your hottest blogs that you have written till yet because that is really gonna appeal to your viewers because the once they enter your website they're going to see this blog as the top thing after your welcome page so you want to make sure it's something that they are interested in and that they will like now to display your blogs i would suggest that within your featured blog on the other side you add a list like this for your recent blogs and you can hyperlink all of them over here so just use this chain little icon and you can hyperlink your blogs over here now to change the general settings of your website you can see at the top right you have your settings for visibility you have publishing you have the author so obviously you're going to have your name as the author below that you have your featured image excerpts discussions page attributes after that you have your global style so that is the overall style that your blog is going to follow you're gonna have your font selection so whatever font you have selected for your entire website is gonna be over here you can change it for your entire website just by changing it over here and i find this feature very good to keep overall cohesive aesthetic for your website or blog after that you can change your base font as well you can also look at different font pairings that are suggested now besides that if you click on these three dots you have your top toolbar and you can add or remove this toolbar and within this toolbar you can add different buttons for people to navigate within your website and i find it to be a good option to keep in your blog because oftentimes blogs can feel like they're just mumble jumbles of text and they're really not that they seem like they're not as presentable as they could be and adding a toolbar can help in the organization of your blog once you're satisfied with your design you're going to save it as a draft and then you can schedule for your upload or upload it right now and once your website has been published you're just going to view your website and you can see how it's going to look before you publish it you can even just keep on customizing it until you're satisfied and until you feel like your website looks professional enough you can keep on uh, extending the launch date and make sure that everything is perfect when it launches and you can advertise your website on instagram facebook and all those other platforms as well and make sure that you garner a good following for your blog so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and i will catch you guys in the next video